Hi guys and welcome to Adobe Anime using asset and template. So this is just a simulation of uh, motion actually as well. And you can, as you can see, take, take a good note at uh, the wheel of the bus. You guys know what's going on. And the background that is moving, that is the, uh, that's from the Adobe asset and these beds uh, which I've used on several occasions and you can see the rain droppings the rain droppings is actually part of Adobe's uh, template so let me stop this and we start a new project okay let's go to file and select template look at it right there and right in here we have the different template that you guys can select and the one that I use was this very one scripted rain that is it right there okay now click on OK once you click on OK this is the background you will get and this background is approximately 550 by 400 look at it right there if I run it this is how it's going to look like there that's all the restorage you can see the rain dropping slightly so I want to close that so what I want to do now is I'm going to get rid of this this very background let's drag this down so that you guys see the layer that's the layer there that's the background select the background and just come in here you see where we have the bucket delete that and my stage let's change the stage right click or you can always come in here you see the document or the doc tab let's change that to 1400 and i'm going to make the height 720 that's fine okay the next thing i want to do now is to go straight to the asset adobe asset click on the asset right there we need the background okay right in here the assets that is it i'm going to change the anime to static and there we go those are the various background we have in there so let's look for the very background that i use for this tutorial okay right here the, the background is not here so let's check the it's not on the default let's check custom right there grab the background it's called night mountain just drop it there okay the next thing i want to do now is this very background i'm going to select control k you you guys can select that to get it centered where is the align there we go control k you can select that so make sure this is checked and i will just get it centered horizontal centered and vertical centered that is it so if i run it now this is what you guys should see you will still see the rain droppings but because the you won't be able to see the rain droppings actually because the the background is actually covering everything so the only alternative is to drag it right down so let's run it and see there we go that is the rain droppings right there you can see that okay from here to here because it's 550 pixels so let's change it to 1400 as well so let's peg this down here so let's go straight into the code that is the code right there look at it right there okay actions right click on it and select action or you can just press f9 okay f9 should get you the script there we go but if you can't see the script make sure it is selected go to windows and right there that is it f9 now look at it the size is 550 i'm going to change that to 1400 and the rate i'm going to say minus 200 okay that is done so close that so if i run it now you guys should be able to see the rain actually fill up my screen there we go look at that okay but as you can see the rain droppings seems to be very small let's go into the library right here in the library double click on the rain and i'm the rain dropping is right here so i'm going to change this to about 800 so that we can increase the size of the rain so that is the rain there select the rain if you come into the properties here 
that is the range is 1.7 so i want to change that to about let's go for maybe 4.7 all right 4.7 that is the range so let's kind of like straighten it a little bit yeah now that's the rain dropping and let's run it first and go back to the stage and click on run so that should be a little bit pronounced there we go now one other thing i want to do is the rate at which the rain is dropping and let's change it from three to maybe four come down here press f9 and that is it right here okay randomly scale the x and y axis of the rain so i'm going to randomly scale that change that to four so that is fine okay i think i may have finished with all of these lines of code if you want to know more about action script there's a lot of uh, tutorial out there for action script anyway i want to close that now let's grab some some other components straight into the or onto the library so i'm going to open up my folder here inside my folder i'm going to grab this bus drop the bus there then i'm also going to grab these beds drag and drop there now let's come in here i'm going to create a layer for the let's lock all of this up go right up there and create a layer for that very bus there and let's change this to about 50 so that you guys can see what i'm up to move this up a little bit grab the the bus bring it here there we go okay i'm just gonna leave the bus right there now what i want to do is i want to break this very bus apart because these two wheels i want those wheels to be rotating um, for us to be able to see that so what we need to do is press ctrl b or you can always go to modify and just select break apart it's broken apart now but the problem is i find it very difficult to grab the wheel itself so i'm just going to leave that alone and come right in here and select the magic one click on that and now I should be able to just select as you can see I just selected all of the invisible or transparent images that run it that surround the bus and the wheel so we can delete that so just press delete now the bus is on it the bus and the wheels are both on their own double click on the wheel now right click on it and select convert to symbol so i want to make sure you guys can see that i'm going to scroll up so that you can see the convert to symbol right click and select convert to symbol or we can go to modify and select convert to symbol or you press f8 there so i'm going to just call that wheel one wheel one is at the back okay now I will leave it as a movie clip click on ok that is my first wheel taken care of now let's select the second wheel the front wheel now go back to modify and change that to convert to symbol that will be wheel 2 there we go done so double click on wheel 1 or wheel 2 either one just double click on that now we are in the enhancing area of it so in here I'm going to select let's select frame number frame number three right click on it and select insert keyframe or convert to keyframe or you can always press f6 to do that there i will then select this free transformation tool and just spin the wheel around repeat the same thing in number five spin the wheel around just repeat it maybe a couple of times and spin it around number 10 as well spin it around again 
press F6 and just finish run. I think that we do. I will now select this very frame and right click anywhere in, inside it and click on create classic twin. There, that is it. If you notice, you can see the arrows in the frame or on the timeline. So that is wheel number two taken care of. I believe, no, wheel number one. Now let's take care of wheel number two. That is it right there. So for wheel number two, that is right, that is wheel one. Now double click on wheel number two. Let's make sure you guys can see this. I want you to be able to see what I'm up to. So move this here, double click on wheel number two. There we go. So I'm gonna repeat exactly the same thing. Drag this and just peg it back where it was. So select frame three, right click and select F5. Spin the wheel around and repeat the same thing. Spin the wheel around again and F6, spin that wheel around. And let's come straight to 10 and just spin it around one more time. There, that is it. I am now officially done with the wheels. So back on my system here. If I run it now, you will just see the wheel spinning. The bus is now moving. The background is now moving. It's like a stationary. Okay, look at that. The wheels are moving. But what we want is we want them. We want to simulate motion. Okay, end that. Now, to officially simulate motion, what we need to do is I'm going to create copies of the background. So let's come in here, lock up this wheel. Oh, that's the bus. Okay, the bus and the wheel, everything is together. Okay, lock that up. Now, the background. The background is called Night Mountain. So let's unlock the background itself. Now, come right here right click on the background and let's convert it to a symbol there and let's just call it night mountain one word and look at it is actually movie clip click on ok and that is it double click on my night mountain right there i'm now going to re reduce the size of that so that i can enhance it so what I want to do now is come right here, just reduce it to maybe about 25, that is it. Now let's create a duplicate of it. So just press Control D. That's one duplicate there. Place it right on the side. Another Control D, that is, we have three, maybe one more, Control D again. There we go. And I'm going to select every single images that I have in here, all, all the backgrounds. So select it all and we group it together. Just press Ctrl G or you can go to modify and just group it. There, that's it. One image. Now, let's go straight to my timeline here. I'm going to move this timeline to about 500 and something. Okay, 555, that's cool. Press F6 or right click and insert F6. Insert, convert to keyframe. Now, just drag the background across. So, what we're doing now is creating an animation. There we go. All right, that's fine. So I will now come in here, just on the timeline, just right click anywhere there and select Create Classic Twinning and accept that. Click on OK and that is it done. Now let's go straight to our system. OK, let's scroll to the right to see our scene. That's our scene right there. OK, now, so let's run it and see what's going to happen. Run. And that is it. What you see is the background is actually moving, which, is, which means it's simulating the bus is just driving across. Now, let's do one more thing. Close that. I'm going to select this whole box, bus. I think the bus is right here. Select everything and just move it down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now let's add some beds that are flying across. So I'm going to come in here now. Let's lock all of these up, 
create another layer right above the boss. Let's just enter the boss there so that we know where the boss is. And here, create another layer. That's the other layer. I'm going to enter beds there. Now, grab the, one of the beds. This very one, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Just grab that. Drop it here. There. Now, right click on that very bed and convert it to symbol. Just type in bed fly or whatever you want to call it. That's fine. It's also a movie clip. Now, I'm going to just registration point. Let me get it centered and click on OK. There. Now, that is my bed fly there. You either double click on it on the stage or double click on it in the library, on the library. Now, that's bed fly. Go to frame number two or frame number three and press F7. That's uh, or convert to blank keyframe. There we go. Now, if you guys can see, there is a crosshair here. Now, drag the image number two and just dump it right there. Now, go to number five, frame number five here. Convert to blank keyframe. Drag number three, drop it there. Okay, you can do that a couple of times. And repeat the same thing now. Grab number one, place it there. Just to make the animation look a little bit smoother. Drag number two, bed number two, and finally bed number three again. Blank keyframe. Drop it right there. I'm now going to select the layer and right click anywhere in there and create classic twinning and accept that. There we go. Classic twinning taken care of. Now let's go back to my stage. You see this arrow? Click on it. That is the bed right there. If I click on run up here, this is what you guys will see. See, it's like the bed is flying. Actually, the bed is flying. So let's increase how many beds we have in there. This very bed, just select it and press Ctrl D. We have one there, two. It's like a flock of beds flying across. So this is how you guys create your own motion using the asset and the template so let's run that and see how that looks like look at that guys i suppose you guys enjoy it so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial let's move the wheel of this boss up first let's take that up lock that up and select this move that up a little bit so that you guys can see it there, that is it. That's how you create animation using Anime CC. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. You all have a nice day now. And please do subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.